everybody, my name is Megan Penn and I'm the board president of Orange Homegrown. We are the, farm, uh, the nonprofit that runs the new Saturday Farmers and Artisans Market here on Chapman's campus at the old historic Villa Park Orchard Packing House lot. I am so excited to introduce today Kirsten Gum. She is a gourmet raw food chef that's come all the way from LA to come and do a tour for us this Saturday. Um, you may know her face. She's been um, on a lot of TV and uh, movies, and her latest thing has been a um, travel channel. Travel channel, uh, or travel channel. Yeah. Um, Treasure Hunter show. She was the host of the show, which was a huge success. Um, but you've also been on uh, commercials and all sorts of stuff. I have done pretty much anything you can do in TV. <laughs> That's awesome, right? <laughs> Yeah, and it was actually TV and traveling to a whole bunch of different countries that really got me interested in healing society and healing this planet, which is why I got into raw foods. Because I believe that people need to reconnect with our food. Our food is our energy source. It's what gets us up every day. It's what gets us going. So if we're not putting clean fuel into this life that we get, we're not going to get the most out of the life. So one of the biggest things of... Um, that was so apparent to me is when I would go out of country and then I would come into country, it would slam me in the face how overweight we are and how diseased we are and how unhealthy we look. And I would see that just in the airport. I'm not even talking about cities, just in the airport. When people started putting preservatives in food, it was so that people could have food year round and in harsh conditions. And when they started putting extra additives in food, it was so that they could feed more people. You know, there were good intentions behind it. But we have tipped the scale in a number of ways, and it's time to get back to the naturals. Raw food isn't a new way of eating, it's actually the old way of eating. Getting back to fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds, things that Mother Nature has given us, these gifts that are filled with all these nutrients that our body recognizes, so our, our bodies know what to do with those nutrients. One of the biggest things that people don't know, and this blew me away when I found it out, 50% of our energy is used digesting our food. No way. 50%. That's crazy. So if you can put in only good food that your body recognizes, you can bring that number down, which means your body can then go, all right, got that all taken care of. Now I'm going to go heal this. And that's exactly what I saw with my face. I had bad acne. I had, not as a child, but as adult acne. And I was on television. You know, so that was a real struggle for me many, many years. And now that I've been on raw foods, and I'm not 100%, um, I've been on raw foods, I get compliments all the time. So I'm here, and I will be at the market to help you guys find out a little bit more about raw foods. So at 9.30 in the morning, we are gonna do a little thing called Follow That Chef. So if you ever wanted to go with a chef, myself this week, <laughs> this weekend, um, and just see how they pick out fruits and vegetables. We'll talk a little bit about fruits and vegetables. We'll talk more to the vendors that are there. And then we're going to take what we buy and we'll go back and we'll do a demonstration. And I'll show you a couple different raw recipes that are so easy to make. You can do them. I'll tell you what. I taught my mom and she takes it to everything now. And she gets so many compliments. One of the biggest things we'll do is a kale salad that you can get to know. And then you can do it in so many different variations. And you make it your own. I just give you the basic recipe. We're also going to talk about flavor balancing, which is a big part of cooking or non-cooking. I still call it cooking even if I don't heat my food. Um, and yeah, we'll just talk about how easy ways that you can incorporate more natural organic food into your diet. Fabulous. Yeah, right on. Yeah. And then we'll get to desserts later on. Sweet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, it sounds so exciting. We can't wait. I mean, how could you not be excited after hearing her say that? So. Well, and I'm so blessed to have you all because I think Orange is amazing and what you're doing and bringing farmers markets back, bringing a community together through food. Let's face it, food is always at the center of any social event, that's true. right? Yeah. And people don't think of farmers markets that way, but it's true. You go to the farmers market, that's where you see your neighbors. Exactly. That's when you can make those plans for the evening. You try the apple cider. You know, you. Mm -hmm. You taste, you experience, because this is an experiential life that we have. And, and I don't know about you, but I want the most out of this life that I can get. Because as far as I know, I only get this one, at least in this body. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the Farmer's Market, in case anybody doesn't know, it's located at 304 North Cypress Street at the corner of Cypress and Palm, diagonally from the film school if you've ever been down that way. So come check us out. We're there every Saturday from 9 to 1. And we're looking forward to seeing you. Where do we park? 
There is parking all along the street on Cyprus, and then once you pass the packing house, there's a huge parking lot that's available for market patrons. So even though it does say Chapman University, they're allowing you to park there um, during market hours. And bring your own 